Oh boy. The fun don't stop, don't it? <laughs> All right, let's see if we got everything here. See, I got my uh, poppy corn here and I got uh, my energy drink here so, so I can have the energy for, for all this shit. And uh, man, someone needs to get, get this boy a pickle already, man. So he has something to suck on. Uh, but anyway, intro. I, uh, so I got to get my hustle on. I, uh, Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another reaction video. And uh, apparently, this 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 uh, saga has turned into a chronicle uh, of old uh, Gobbly Gooker himself. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my man Church done put out a new video. Now I know he 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 has another video after this, so we're gonna definitely gonna hit up that other one right after this one. So stay tuned for that. Um, this one being called the Chronicles of Crackle Tooth. Or cracky tooth, <laughs> bruh. You you, you, you should have called it the uh, Chronicles of uh, of Narkia. You know what I'm saying? Kind of a play off of the whole Chronicles of Narnia, or yeah, the Chronicles of Narnia, or some shit like that. And uh, being that this dude is trying to you know narc on church, you know what I mean for some for some shit that church ain't really doing. I think the Chronicles of Narkia. Would it, would it would it make more more sense you know what i mean just 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 a just a suggestion but in any event let's go ahead and get right into this one y'all actually let me get into full screen mode all right now let's go ahead and get right into this one by liking the hit hit welcome back folks we have breaking news like it's broken news without any further ado i give you the legend of johnny gobble and the cracky tooth chronicles uh oh <laughs> but they heard me and pulled up with some other boys I had made friends with, and they, they had ended up texting church. Saying, so now we got Tweedle D and Tweedle Dumb. Okay, let's go. Hey man, there's a boy down here. About that. I didn't know this how it went down until years later. You know, you, you, you could have just called this Dumb and Dumber. I'm just saying. But. All right, so the guy on top is Johnny Gobble. The guy on the bottom is Cracky Tooth. So Cracky Tooth, the guy on the bottom who sounds like an old grandma with mesothelioma, is apparently about to tell a story that I'm involved in. Let's see how many Johnny Gobble Cracky Tooth tendencies are in this story. I'm interested. Hey, so I was in there playing the Bulletproof, the original one that I wrote way before church and me met. And uh, when I was playing the original version, uh, that's when Church pulled up after they texted him, and he pulled up, and he waited till I got done playing guitar and playing that song, and he walked up to me, just straight up to me, shook my hand, he said, word for word, he said, I'm gonna make you the next Justin Moore. Well, damn, that sucks, because you didn't end up being that, now did you? You ended up being the next dumbass on my YouTube channel. So the story... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You would think people would have learned from, uh, from old, uh, Putts Live or King Putts, I think that's his name, or that people would have learned from Shoulder Boy, people would have learned from Lacquer Thinner Larry, people would have learned from right, from the uh, from uh, the uh, leader of the Weasel Gang, you know what I'm saying? Freaking Nerf Gun Ned, but nope, the hits just keep on coming. <laughs> Bruh, let's go he's referring to a long time ago some kids around here was like hey man there's this fucking dude at the park i think he's homeless and he's looking for you i was like for what and they're like man he needs help or something fucking something with a record deal so pretty much i drive down there and there's this fucking kid yodeling in the rain it's like goddamn 50 degrees outside yodeling. i got out of my truck i walked over i was like hey man what the fuck you know what are you doing at the park you know yodeling in the rain he's like man i traveled down here and when i got down here man this dude told me he had a record deal for me man and he like tricked me, man. I'm living in the woods over here, man. I was like, what the fuck? A record deal in Ashland City? He's like, yeah, man. It's like, fucking right over there in front of the fucking shell station, man. That's how a story really started. Okay, mm. now go on, Cracky Toe. Tell us the story. Man, I was like, who the hell are you? He said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. See, that's messed up, man. Church was trying to help this guy out. And, and now this dude wants to go and spread lies about him, man. I can relate. I've been there. I know church. He said, I do music and stuff, and he said, I don't know what your situation is, but you can come back with me tonight, you want to, and I'll help you out, get you a room, I got you, I got extra room in my apartment, and all this, and everything come off so nice, and all that, and that. Nee, kinda. I did take him in for the night. It was raining outside. It was cold. I wasn't gonna leave Cracky Tooth in the woods, you know what I'm saying? He, he don't know this. 
Yeah, that, that that would be messed up, you know what I mean? Leave old boy out there in the rain and shit, you know what I mean? So, yo, hey, props to church, man, for providing some shelter for that dude. Place. So, yeah, I did tell him to come back to the house, but I wasn't, like, super nice. I said, hey, man, you can come back to my house, but my girlfriend at the time is here, too. Don't come in my room or I will shoot you because I don't know you. That's how that went. Take it away, mm. cracky tooth. <laughs> You're already lying. You came back the first night. Why the fuck would I come back a second time and be like, man, you sure you don't want to? I mean, I don't fucking really want you in my house. I was just trying to be nice. And uh, he's like, well, just come back with me, man. Like, I know, I know it's weird. I know you don't know me, but like, we can really make some music and we can really do something. I thought, I know you don't know me, but if you're trapping for a day, I'll tell you who I am. I'll tell you what we can do and all that. And uh, I went back with him. I said, you know what, fuck it. <clears throat> in my head, I'm thinking, I ain't got shit going on. I ain't going to right. this is it for me. You already told me the story about the record deal, which I don't think, I don't even know what the fuck that was. There is no record label in Ashland City. I think some dude was just trying to play with your butt, to be real. Plus, like, what the fuck? And that's probably why old uh, Gobbly Gooker is, is talking to him, man. He, he trying, he trying, probably trying to gobble on his knob and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Trying to slob on his knob like it's corn on the cob. You, you can't just rub a dip can and I'll pop up like a music ad. Hey, man, I can make you a star. You traveled here to Ashland City about a fake record deal. Everyone knows I'm against record deals. I ask you if you need some help. Boom, there we go. Oh, my God. That's fucking crazy, man. So crazy. He fucking took me in his apartment. At the time, he was in an apartment. Yeah, so I go back with him at night. I got my bag and my guitar. That's all I ever had. And uh, to this day, if I didn't have my, my girlfriend, if I went with her, all I'd still have my bag and my guitar. Right. Um, you know, uh, I walked in, he, he took me to the back bedroom. He said, hey, here, here. It, was, it was a studio, but it had a studio and a bed in it. He said, here, it's, it's your room, you make it yours, do whatever you want. Hand me a skull can. And I said, I don't do it. I quit it, but I, I smoke cigarettes and shit. But right. I said, I don't do it. He said, no, no, I open it up. He's like, I opened it up, it was full of weed. I, he's like, you smoke? Don't you guys? like, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> I, like, yeah. I, was like, I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it. it was cool for like a long time after that it was like it was like that and then like i think six months rolled by i in those six months i was not singing i was just uh nobody knows this but if you ever heard a guitar on any of the his first yeah this sounds like a bunch of happy horse shit i mean i'm just saying album and up to project x that was me that's how i made my living with church for until i ever spent a song on him i played i made beats with band play at for eight Project X? Who the hell you think you are? Wolverine? Hmm? Hmm? You think this is some kind of X-Men movie? Bruh. A long last time. That's all wow. I did. Me and Johnny Cashville and Bamplay made all the beats and wrote all the hooks. Nope. That's a lie. Ain't none of y'all write no hooks. Did I pay you as a guitar player in the studio? Uh, yeah. It's called a session player. I pay you the money. I already gave you a place to stay. Now you work for me. You got a roof over your head. I'm paying you to go to work to the studio. I'm paying you money to do this when I could pay 500 other motherfuckers in Nashville to do it, but I'm letting you do it to make money to get on your feet, not only to get on your feet. See that? Look at that, man. Dude went out of his way to help you out, try to get you on your feet, you know what I mean? Hook up with a, with a gig, with a, with, with a job, you know what I mean? You only have one job, my guy, and, uh, you know, dude hired you for, for that job and he tried to pay you he tried to help you out get on your feet and now here you are spreading lies about old boy as a way of showing thanks hmm see man you folks like you ain't right man i'm just saying but you're already in a studio cracky tooth use the money i'm paying you to pay for your own music and make your own music does the word duh mean anything to you, old cracky tooth? Hmm? At the studio, you're already at. Duh. So like a year went by and, and finally I got to do Bulletproof. Because in that year, six months to a year, I hadn't wrote anything. I was just doing a uh, guitar uh, track. Yeah, to six months to a year, you didn't write shit for yourself. What do you mean do? Sharpen the goddamn pencil and be like, hey, write these lyrics. And uh, <laughs> so... 
we do the we do uh bulletproof we didn't do a video for that but we do bulletproof and that's everybody's introduction to me you know as right. me hey, this is who this kid is you know whatever so after i saved him from a guy who wanted to probably touch his butthole got him to stop yodeling in the rain when it's 50 degrees outside put a roof over his head give him a fucking job take him on tour now i do a song with him and show him to people to boost his career i'm such a fucking horrible person i know right i mean hey look man church can only do so much for you man it is it is on you to uh sink or swim on your own you know what i'm saying bruh i mean wh what were you expecting were, were you expecting for this guy to just make you be part of the family or uh make you part of redneck nation just like that overnight no he can only do so much for you but you have to be willing to help yourself you know what i'm saying and if you're not willing to help yourself well then that's a you problem not a church problem. Let's go. You're going to hell. Well then, you know, that's cool. I'm touring and doing Bulletproof and then we do the old days of the Ninja video and then my whole life changed like for fucking ever. My life changed when I met church because not, I, don't, I don't know if anybody knows this. Church was famous six years ago. Right. And like the type of famous where it was scary. Like when I literally, I, I can never make this shit up. Like when I first, the first time church ever posted me on his shit, like I was just playing guitar <clears> in the Instagram <throat> videos from him, like while he sung. I can imagine the views. I can imagine the views. Jeez, calm down, Johnny Gobble. You know he's over there stretching his nutsack out. Yeah, man, Johnny Gobble getting, getting all excited already, man. He he, he he wants old Cracky 2's knob so bad. Far as hell right now. I can imagine the views. I can imagine the views. Oh, shit, my testicle fell on the ground. Yeah, it does have a lot of views. It's been out for four years and has 39 million views, to be exact. It's a shit ton of exposure for free, if you ask me. Yep. Record labels can't even buy you that. And look... You were gifted a great deal of exposure. And now you're, you're exposing yourself, but you're doing it the wrong way. I think old Cracky Tooth also has a crack in his dome, if you know what I mean. He's done not shit with it. Well, it's not, it's not, it's, not, it's, it's, it's that, that's what I was getting at. Like, bro, my phone literally froze for four days straight. I could not even open my phone, use my phone, because it was going, it, 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 it locked my phone. My phone shut down. Wow. Wow. And that's when I knew shit was different. I had no idea, nothing, none of this. And then I, I knew then, I was like, man, what? I got overwhelmed, and it, everything happened so fucking fast for me on my end, because that's, that's my, that's, that's how it happened for me. Right. I, I well, what are you crying about? You came here for a record deal to do the same exact thing. The only difference is that some dude pulled up in a dots and was like, I can help you. And did it better. In six months, everybody in the little... This is how crazy for me. I'm from Mississippi, bro. I didn't expect to ever do nothing. I just expected to struggle my whole life like I still am, you know? Good God. He's just like... You were expecting to struggle your whole life, and you still are. Jesus Christ. The man just gave you a huge springboard for you to launch off of, you know what I'm saying? To get yourself a great deal of exposure. And for you to just sit there and say, oh, you know, I was expecting to struggle my whole life and I still am. That just, that just goes to show just how, how smart you are. What kind of knowledge you have or lack thereof. Oh my god, why are people so stupid? Like Johnny Gobble, bruh. Who the fuck wakes up and like, yep, today I choose to struggle some more. Hmm. Came here for a record deal. Dude, for real, who wants to struggle for all their life? I know I sure as hell don't. And that's why I'm on here grinding. I'm grinding my ass off because, yo, I want to reach that promised land. I don't want to struggle for the rest of my life. Let's go. Ew, bruh, what do you... I came there to change my life, but my life got changed, and I was like, man, I don't want my life to change, fuck it. I planned on just yodeling in the rain at the park for the rest of my life. Yodeling. To hear me <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, bro, there's literally porn stars with my name on them. There's fucking uh, girls in New Zealand, guys in New Zealand that wear up me and his music and got our name tattooed on them in New Zealand. Like, this shit is not real to me. Like, this shit is still ain't hit me. Like, the fuck, like, and, and, and. It ain't hit you. Bro, I fired you like five years ago, bro. You need to wake the fuck up. <laughs> now, I don't know about porn stars and guys from New Zealand having your name tattooed on them, but, you know, maybe people get R-H-E-C or Creaker or my signature tattooed on them to maybe they came to a show and 
they're listening to music that changed their life or the way they think about their self. And maybe that's their way of showing appreciation. I'm not going to treat yep. them like they're weird or nothing. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, they are. They're real people. It is real life. Maybe they share real values with me. Like, you don't have to understand it. You're fucking hanging out with Johnny Gobble. You probably don't understand shit. Oh, dude. Yeah, hanging out with Johnny Gobble, like, that's going to get you anywhere. Mm -mm. I think if anything, bro, you don't hurt your chances at a potential future by uh, choosing to associate your name with jo Johnny Gobble. I think you done fucked up right then and there. And uh, best of luck to you in your future endeavors now after being seen with this dude or being heard with this dude. Bro. It's come out, bro. My whole fucking life changed. I couldn't even go outside the fucking apartment without being so without somebody being like, yo, 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 no, it wasn't like that back then, bro. I wasn't even that famous. No, that did not happen ever. Not even to me. So I know it didn't happen to you. You know how I know? I was there, dummy. Oh, it was church, bro. Church was so fucking retarded. And church was just was just barely getting his feet wet at that point. So if he was barely getting his feet wet at that point, you were dry as a bone, bro. Famous. If he posted anybody, you, you that person could not walk outside the area and breathe. You couldn't, bro. I went to the mall with my baby mama. And I couldn't even. I, I was gonna get tattooed. My neck tattooed for old days video. This was before the old days, actually. I will get my neck tattooed for the old. I, I got the microphone tattoo the day before the old days was shot. Because I had to add his name on there. I had to cover it up with something. Because right. I know it's gonna get a lot of fucking views. You know? Right. <laughs> Tell us you're a dirt bag without telling us you're a fucking dirt bag. The chick he's talking about is my friend, which. Did he just say he was a dirtbag? Maybe they share real values with me. Like, you don't have to understand it. You're fucking hanging out with Johnny Gobble. You probably don't understand shit. Old days come out, bro. My whole fucking life changed. I couldn't even go outside the fucking apartment without being so, without somebody being like, yo, 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 so I know it didn't happen to you. You know how I know? I was there, dummy. It was church, bro. Church was so fucking retarded famous that if he posted anybody, you, could, you that person could not walk outside the area and breathe. You couldn't, bro. I went to the mall with my baby mama. And I couldn't even... I, I was going to get tattooed. My neck tattooed for old days video. This was before the old days, actually. I would get my neck tattooed for the old... I, I got the microphone tattooed the day before the old days was shot. Because I had to. I had to ask his name on there. I had to cover it up with something because right. I knew it was going to get a lot of fucking views. You know? Right. Tell us you're a dirt bag without telling us you're a fucking dirt bag. The yeah, he he don't he don't confirmed it. The chick he's talking about is my friend, which he impregnated and then dipped out on and went to New York with a guy named Chris and smoked crack for three months. Uh no wonder Church don't want to associate with your ass anymore. That is, wow, wow. So you you're with this girl who is Church's best friend, and you done did her dirty. And you still want to be all up, all up in this video with Johnny Gobble talking about how church still owes you and shit? You do his friend dirty and now you're trying to make him look like an asshole? Fuck you. Uh, yeah. So he's with his baby mama getting a tattoo to cover up his other baby mama. For the music video, which will attract him in the future, more baby mama drama. If that don't tell you who the... Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah. Yeah, I see the kind of dude that he is now. That's, yeah, now, now that makes all the sense in the world. See, and I find it funny how he left out that little detail when he was talking about getting tatted up for the, the, uh, for the old days video. Bruh! So he's with his baby mama getting a tattoo to cover up his other baby mama for the music video which will attract him in the future more baby mama drama if that damn it bobby that boy ain't right that don't tell you who the fuck this dude is then i don't know what does and um yeah so you know i did the old days and like, that's when i was like oh my god this is real life yo that's sad this dude is still promoting the old days and the old days is actually now literally the old days no man, man. This is I know, ain't that funny? Still promoting the old days. The old days is now the old days. <laughs> I mean, 
Hey, and and, and y'all, um, I mean, that song, Old Days, that's probably one of the dopest songs I've ever heard, man. Real talk. But yeah, I mean, but that, that song was so long ago, my guy. You, you need to get up. You need to catch up with, with, with the, um, with the times, you know what I mean? You need to be more up to date, you know what I'm saying? And um, you need to you you need to stop, you know, freaking being obsessed with the struggle, and get your shit together, bruh. Let's go. Your life, and then like during that time, also church bought me like three trucks, bro. Church bought me three vehicles. When I'm in the, in the time of me knowing him, bro, he bought me three vehicles. And he well, actually, I bought you one vehicle because you didn't have one, and I was like, fuck it, I'll buy you one. That was back when I was broke, by the way. The other two vehicles I bought. Now, if, if that ain't love, I don't know what love is. You know what I'm saying? Church bought you a vehicle at a time when he was when he was broke, when he was struggling? Bruh. Bruh. So you go and you do his friend dirty. This dude provides you shelter. He provides you with an opportunity. He provides you with a vehicle. You still want to sit there and fucking have the world feel sorry for you? And, um... And in the process, try to make him look look like an asshole. Yeah, fuck you, fuck you times two. Thought you was because you were dating my friend and y'all were gonna have a baby, and you was not interested in having a safe car for the baby. So I had to buy it because I care about my friend who you impregnated. <laughs> Here's how fucking stupid this guy is. And this is why I, I, I love and I respect church, you know what I'm saying? Because he looks out for his people. You know what I mean? Bruh, let's go. One of the vehicles I buy for the baby so it could be safe, this dumb motherfucker trades it for a stunt bike. That what? has no title. No. He 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 can't be that stupid. You was because you were dating my friend and y'all were gonna have a baby and you was not interested in having a safe car for the baby. So I had to buy it because I care about my friend who you impregnated. <laughs> Here's how fucking stupid this guy is. One of the vehicles I buy for the baby so it could be safe, this dumb motherfucker trades it for a stunt bike. No. You trade a vehicle that can house you, your baby mama, the baby, and you trade it for a stunt bike? You, you were dropped on your head when you were born, weren't you? That has no title. With no title, so it's not even legal. What the hell kind of rocks were you smoking? What are you gonna do if I can take your kid to goddamn Walmart on the stunt bike? Bro, he bought me three vehicles and he gave me one. And he, bro, he don't care. He's ever since I've known church, he's always had at least at the at one time 15 vehicles. He, he never has less than 15, 20 vehicles. And that's that, that, that ain't a rich thing. He's just he's a car fanatic. I give him that. I'll give him that. He does like cars. He, he's always been in. I mean, him and Gerald love trying bait, uh, trading, buying and selling cars. That's their thing. They Dude, even if you were trying to make church look bad because he has a huge car collection, I mean, at the end of the day. It's his money. He can do whatever he wants with it. You know what I mean? He's worked his ass off. You know what I'm saying? To have that. You could have had that too. Had you been smarter. But no. No. You have to make stupid decisions. After stupid decisions. After stupid decisions. Because you love to struggle. Bubba. They've always done it. I'm not gonna take that from them. Will somebody help me? I don't fucking, I don't speak dumbass. What does that mean? I ain't gonna take that away from him. He likes cars. I ain't gonna take that away from him. You can't. I'm buying the cars. What are you talking about? Exactly. And he, like I said, he can do that because he's earned that right to do that. It's his money. He can do whatever he wants with it at the end of the day. 
can nobody tell this man what to do with his money just like no one can tell either of you dumbasses what you can do with your money just like no one can tell me what i can do with my money you know what i'm saying bruh he, he, he's 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 bad boys to an extent to an extent excuse me actually i have backwards tattooed on my back that's how backwards i am bitch but church but dear Lord, this is the thing that I, i'm gonna skip around a little bit but when i first met church dear Lord, was one of his first friends come to me and talk come to me and told me took me to work with him because i, I was just kidding like i said i'm just kid on the street so he took dear picked me up to me to work with him i'm riding around him one day and uh Deardorff is the like the first person I ever talked to before I met anybody else in his group of friends. Yeah. And he was like, yo, bro, I don't know. And it's like Deardorff was kind of mad at him too, like mad because his, his friend Church he grew up with and put on the front. Like, uh, he was, he literally flat out just told me, he's like, no, Church ain't crunch the country, bro. Like literally everything he raps about is everything I've done. Like Church ain't gonna fight nobody. I literally chased Church around his own house three times. This shit Deardorff told me. Nope. I'm pretty sure there was videos where Church confronted a dude who spat on his Mustang. Who remembers that? I think either dude spat. I don't know. Some he, he it might have been dude spitting on his Mustang. He did something to Church's Mustang, and uh, one of Church's buddies was filming Church confronting that guy for what that guy did to his Mustang. So don't tell me that Church, you know, ain't, ain't got no balls or that he ain't man enough. You know what I mean? To uh, stand up to somebody when there's video evidence out there that. You know, he he can, and he does have the balls. You know what I'm saying, bruh? Not true. You know it's not true, and Deardorff knows it's not true. Deardorff has never chased me around trying to fight me. Ask him. Deardorff is my homie. You're the one who's gotten chased around houses, and that was by me. Deardorff, that's how me and him come friends. We almost fought in the parking lot. Yeah, see, and I'm not surprised that church chased this dude around. You know what I mean? Because you probably try try to, you know, beat the stupid out of him. He, he, he told me I wasn't going to meet him, and I met him. I, I walked right up to him, and I, I shook his fucking hand. No, that never happened. I don't even know where the fuck that story came from. You mean to tell me? I know where it came from. It came from right out of his ass. He showed up to fight you and didn't fight you? Bruh, you weigh like 90 pounds. Boy, that's a lie if I ever heard one. If Deirdre shows up to fight you, he came to fight you, bruh. He's not just gonna be like, oh, never mind. I just, I, 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 cause he thought I was trying to fuck Lauren, his old lady or some shit. <clears throat> Went down, I was talking something like that. And it, what? Bruh, Lauren has not been to give you the time of day. I'm sorry. A bunch of rumors cause the church and my baby mama got spread around. Wow. Yeah. yeah, you were probably trying to uh, pressure her into getting it on with you if that's the case. And therefore, I, I, I don't see why, you know, church's homie would, would want to beat your ass. I mean, hell, you, you trying to get my girl to get it on with you, I would want to beat the fuck out of you too. Damn, now me and his baby mama fuck out? Jessica, are you watching this shit? I don't know what that man, I couldn't, that's why I'm, I'm out. I don't deal with that. That is. Look at some drugs in his brain, he's like, fuck man, I said too much retarded shit, I'm gonna have to look out the windows for the next month, I'm scared. Live, I could live the lifestyle that he lives. Well, hey, there's something we agree on, I agree. Mm -hmm. You probably couldn't. You'd see an amount in the bank account and fucking OD in the next four days. No, hell no. It's just, it's, it's not even the lifestyle, bro. It's just what he allows and enjoys to happen. He, he, he feeds on the bullshit. Yeah. Well, yeah, look what kind of videos it makes. The Cracky Tooth Chronicles. <laughs> he ain't country, like, everything he raps about is shit that I do in every day, like, the fucking cars. The shit he raps about is the shit you do every day. Bro, you just said earlier, your ass is struggling. That you're still struggling. So how, <clears throat> so let's see videos of you riding around on, on, on jet skis. Let's see your car collection then. If all the shit that he talks about is shit that you actually do. And therefore, bro, that means if you're able to do half, at least half of the shit that church raps about, then your ass ain't struggling. You know what I'm saying? You, you, just, you just on here trying to give a fucking sob story to get people to feel sorry for you. So they can give you free money. That's all it is. There's in the fucking uh, <laughs> backwoods shit. Here, man, all them fucking Can-Am videos and riding wheelies and Harleys and shit. I just hire a stunt double to do all of it. Just yeah, let's see your Can-Am, bruh. If if you're about the life that he raps about, let's see your Can-Ams then. Skiing, stunt double. Hiking through the North Carolina mountains during berry season with a bunch of bears, stunt double. Eat old school muscle cars I got, I don't drive them, stunt double. 
so I can just look backwards. You know what I mean? He's engineered over the first one to tell me that church was always that skater punk class clown in, in school. No. Okay, so he told you the truth? I don't understand. I still skateboard. Well, you can tell that. Just because, you know, someone skateboards, it doesn't mean that they're, you know, any less country. You know what I mean? Skateboarding is skateboarding. You know what I mean? No matter where you live in the in the, in the country. You know what I'm saying? Just like, you know, if you live in, in, in the hood, like I used to, I mean, even in the hood, pe people skateboard. That, that didn't make them any less hood than everyone else that lived in the hood. You know what I mean? Like, wh wh what was the point in bringing up that? You know what I mean? So church, you know, skateboards. Who, okay. And? With the Pokemon shit. Oh, shit. Calm down, buddy. The Pokemon shit! Look, I'm not a fan of Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? But, hey. I'm not going to sit up here and, and, and say that him being a fan of Pokemon makes him less country. You know what I'm saying? First off, that, that ain't my place. You know what I'm saying? And second, again, it doesn't matter what this dude is into. It doesn't change the fact, you know what I mean, that he's still a country boy. You know what I mean? Because he actually lives in the country. Bruh. I must not be dumb enough to understand why that's a diss. I don't know. You can tell that with the Pokemon. Dude, that's like saying, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not so hood because I like Power Rangers. I like Batman. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like the Teenage Mutant Ninja the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I can't even talk right now. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. And then right behind me, I got lowrider cars, lowrider, low you know, diecast cars right there. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. It doesn't matter, you know, what our interests, what our hobbies are. You know what I'm saying? It don't make me any less hood. It don't make church any less country. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Shit. Right, and not for nothing, when I was like seven, I fought with Pokemon cards, but after that, I think that was over. I mean, yeah, the craze is over, but, you know, all those cards from back then are worth lots of money now. True. For instance, I have like $890,000 worth of those gay Pokemon cards. I mean... Mm-hmm, that's facts. He just put out a video not long ago about um, some Pokemon cards, some old vintage Pokemon cards that Solon gave him. Yeah, when I was growing up, my... I'm not hating on shit, because I have certain things from my childhood that I still fuck with. Yeah, just like Justin's childhood, he still doesn't have a job. But I'm not going to fucking make it my everyday life. Like, you have no other thing in your life going on. You just, all day, every day, you just, you're in baby land. I don't know what the fuck's going right. on. Right. So interesting. There's two grown-ass men over the age of 30 who smoke crack rocks that are mad that I collect Pokemon cards. That is, that is like the saddest, most pathetic shit I have seen and heard in my life. And I've heard a lot of sad and pathetic shit. This is why I make these videos. Man, mm -hmm. this, I just wish... And this is why um, I like making reaction videos. Yeah. I wish people knew more, but... <sighs> It'll come out. It'll come out. What are y'all doing? Hosting the AA meeting for Upchurch Trauma? Fuck. I've been, bitter. I've been bitter for a long time. Nope, nope, nope. I know you have. I know. I know, man. This looks like a, like some kind of like real, real bad I I intervention meeting. You know what I'm saying? Like <clears throat> freaking Alcoholics Anonymous meeting, or in their case, a Upchurch Anonymous meeting. People don't know, and what people don't know, and, I know. and it bothers me for everybody to be like, "Oh my God!" and just worship this motherfucker. And and I'm, I'm not even saying that he shouldn't have no fans. All I'm saying is, y'all need to know the fucking truth if you're gonna support somebody. Right. Right. And the truth is that both y'all are just are just a bunch of dumbasses with no lives. You know what I mean? And that uh, you you want to be uh you you want to suck on church's pickle. That, that's what's going on here. Bringing you the truth since last week. Johnny Gobble and Cracky Tooth <laughs> will continue to tell us the truth is dead. My whole life, my freedom, everything for this man. On one, more than one occasion. What I mean by that is he had death threats from black people at shows back in the first beginning. Nope, that's false. I've only had two. Dude, he's got homies who are black, so try again. Death threats at shows and they're both white guys. Mm. Once in West Virginia and once in South Carolina. So every show we played, bro, there was death threats. If at every show there was death threats, I don't think I'd be playing shows still. And I don't think places would want to book you either. And, and even if he was getting um, death threats everywhere and he was still performing at the shows, 
Pretty sure he would not be making this video right now, if you know what I mean. Right? I mean, fuck. You know that guy that gets all the death threats everywhere? Let's fucking book him. Every, every show there we played, there was a death threat. So, we all had guns. Well, Church had a gun, I had a gun, the drummer and DJ didn't. We no, no, I didn't have a gun. I ain't backwards, Bo. No, I was just fucking stunt double. Yeah, I thought... I thought he wasn't he, he wasn't backwards. I thought he wasn't country. Now he's trying to say he has a gun. Bruh. Talking about having your cake and eating it too. But let me tell you something. That motherfucker won't even hold his own gun. This yeah, man, Church carries a gun, man. Hey, man, Church won't even hold a gun, man. This dude's brain's fucked up. This is, this is why I start with... I'm telling you, man. These are some walking, talking contradictions, bro. Him. Like, bro, I, I, had, I just had my son. You know this. You're the godfather of my son. And yet you asked me to carry your gun into a bar and risk my freedom, my life, possibly get shot or have to shoot somebody over you. And then I get on stage perform in the middle of the song. After uh, after the song, you look at me and go, in the middle of a crowd, go, hey, Justin. So, uh, I, you know, remember when somebody said they was going to shoot us at this show on stage? I was like, yeah. He's like, what you going to do? I was like, it's just like he's telling everybody I got a gun on me, like, bro. So nobody caught it. I was just, so I made it sound. I, I made. I broke it off like it was funny. I was like, I'm gonna fucking shoot him. I just I'm pretty sure uh, Church is no snitch. He is no rat, unlike you two rats. You know what I mean? Just being funny. And I laughed. And then I got off stage. I walked to the green room to pull the gun out and put it up. Well, fucking the drummer and the DJ were back there with some groupies. Right. And the groupies, as soon as I walked in, I'm not used to fucking groupies being in the green room, because they're not supposed to be. Yeah, ladies, no girls allowed. That's our place to come right after the show and get our shit out and right. Man, what the fuck is this, man? Some fucking little, little rascals, like, like you know, he-man woman hater club type type shit, man? What the fuck? And, you know, whatever. Right. So, me not just being used to the green room, I fucking barge in, with the gun out, and, put, and start wiping it off, and I'm sweating like a motherfucker. <laughs> well, goddamn. <laughs> 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 Why would you bust up in a green room with a gun, you dummy? The gun's gonna rust. I mean, it's just, I'm, that's the way I'm thinking. Right. So I put the gun out instantly, just screaming, terror. Everybody's freaking out. Like, oh my God, he's got a gun. Cops get called. Marshals get called. Shut the whole fucking show down. Raid the fucking place. Dummy's got a gun. Da -da -da. Dummy's got a gun. Fucking the uh, fire marshal show up. Fucking a everybody, man. The cops fucking barge right in. Uh, everybody's. Now, now you know why um, Johnny Gobble has the name Johnny Gobble. Just, 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 just look at what, what he's doing with, with, with his with his uh, pie hole right now. Tell me that that ain't his way of you know begging for dues knob. I'm just saying. Scatter and go straight to church. They go straight to church with the shirt up, ripping his fucking clothes off, searching for the gun, and I'm right behind church with the gun. So I fucking slip out the fucking back door. And we were in the, they were in the back patio and they got the church. So I'm in the back patio. I slip out the back fence door thing, go around the back to the van, put the gun in the van, walk through the front door, back to church. Like nothing ever fucking happened. And they never fucking found the gun. What is wrong with you? You mean to tell me I brought my gun into a club of people, told you to put it in your pants. Then after the show, I was like, hey, everyone, he has a gun. But nobody heard me. But then everyone started freaking out. Then the fire marshals and the goddamn Soviet Union shows up and raids the place, but don't <laughs> find a gun because it's on the guy beside me while I'm getting strip searched. You can't make this shit up, man. I swear. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. It amazes me that people like this actually exist. Uh, that, this is how you know. People were dropped on their fucking dome pieces when they were born, man. Bruh. And then you sneak out of the building and then back into the building. The fuck is wrong with you? So essentially, you're saying we had a show for a bunch of deaf people and then... uh. The cops showed up and they're all blind. They're just kind of walking around touching the walls looking for a gun. And then you freeze time and you sneak into the front and into the back or whatever. And then it magically just... Motherfucker, who do you think you are, man? The uh, Flash? <laughs> we all got away with it. 
You need fucking help. Bro. That would have ruined his career. Everyone's career, bro. We've been that fuck, dude. Wow. Hey, Johnny Goblin, did you know that unicorns was real? Oh, yes. Google them on YouTube. I heard they like to stay in Paintsville, Kentucky. They do. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You, you had to get the fuck away, bro. Bruh, I'm pretty sure Johnny Goblin's got a pretty extensive unicorn collection. I'm pretty sure he likes putting that, that unicorn's horn in his pie hole. Just saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, you this had, had to get the fuck away. Yeah, good thing he fucking got away. Woo! Shoot! Close call. Yeah, who the fuck wants to live like me? Hey, I just seen this car on the side of the road. Will you go pick it up? I don't care how much it costs. Horrible. Just flat out horrible. As a grown man, like, do I need to, am I wanted here? Am I even respected here? You ain't respect. you wasn't respected. You wasn't respected, bro. Well, they got one thing right in the video. No, you're not. I like how they're, you know, they, <clears throat> a couple of white guys with identity crises, you know what I mean? Speaking e e Ebonics, you wasn't respected, bro. You wasn't respected. Yeah. But he wasn't respected. You impregnated like four women and take care of zero of the children. You get zero respect over here. He you wasn't know, respected. It's, it's things just like that, though. Like, bro, not only that, yeah. bro, a church's best friend Puddin', his best friend Puddin' <laughs> was getting jumped in the park in Chim County twice by two younger boys, little fuckers. Like, I, I know I look like a little dude, but I'm, these guys are little, little. Like, my friend, don't mistake me. I'm old school. I'm, I'm 30 years old. I'm not a little kid from the millennial age. I'm old school. I'll fucking manhandle you and maul you, motherfucker. I call bullshit. I don't think you will. Crawl up you and. If that were true, you would have fought Deardorf. Maul you? What, you gonna bite somebody's neck? The fuck? All right, well, prove it. Do it to me. Come on, get me. Right. Like, right. The thing is, like, we went to these fucking two little places where these, uh, these little buddy Putin was getting jumped, and, and Church is all hyping me and his cousin up. Billy's like, bro, we gotta go, we gotta go get these motherfuckers, blah, 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 and Putin's in trouble. I'm like, all right, well, let's go. And Billy's like, let's go. So we get in the truck, and both fucking times, bro, both fucking times, we get to these fucking, it's, it's pussy shit, too. Like, they, they ain't even fighting when we get there. That's the, that's the bad thing. We're sticking up for a pussies. And you know what all that, that, that pussy shit be about, right? That ain't even doing anything. Like, this ain't a fight. This is fucking high school shit. They're just arguing in the parking lot. Well, yeah, when your friends call you and say, hey, man, I think I'm going to get jumped, you show up and you just stand there and make sure they don't get jumped. If them two are arguing or about to fight, what do you, what do you want us to do? We're not going to jump the guy. Jumping is some sissy shit. I'm just going to sit there. Exactly. And that's why I never was a part of any, any gang. So that's what gangs do. Gangs gang up on people. You know what I'm saying? Which is some fucking punk shit. You know what I mean? I, I'm all about that one-on-one -on -one nonsense, man. You trying to be, um, you trying to jump me? I'm gonna make sure that I'm nowhere near uh, a situation that I cannot walk away from. You know what I'm saying? Unharmed. You know what I mean? Uh, if it's a situation where it's one-on-one, -on -one, then uh, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna take my chances with that. And let them argue. If they fight, they fight. If they don't, they don't. Where I'm from, if you say we're gonna go do something, we're gonna go. We're gonna go do it. 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 Bro, didn't this dude just say one minute ago? Like he was like, man, I risked my life and I, I was scared and and I held this gun and froze time and escaped the police. Now you're like, well, well, man, if you show up, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's why guys like you fucking end up in jail for the rest of your goddamn life because you're stupid as fuck. Facts. You just jump out of a car and just start jumping people. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? They don't call me cracky tooth for nothing, boys. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to know nobody, know what's going on, no situation. I just jump out and start swinging and go to jail for not shit. Mm -hmm. Just because I want to be stupid. You know what I mean? That's how you know. Trying so hard to not be, I mean, you're trying so hard to not be stupid, but yet making yourself look, look stupid and trying so hard and not being stupid. I mean, right. I'm a real country boy. I just like love being stupid. There. And me and your cousin jump out the truck both times and you sit in the truck and feel everybody? Like you just can't wait to see somebody knock the fuck out? Like that, 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 that right there is the difference between church and even his family and everybody around him that don't fuck with him now. Bro, like you film the shit that we do. You talk about the shit that you we do. us to do. Yeah, man, I became a millionaire from writing about being a cracky tooth that don't take care of none of his kids. That's how I came respected by hundreds of thousands of people. Yep, I mean, <clears throat> ain't, ain't, ain't no man getting no respect. No man who um, who is trying to take care of his kids, going out of his way to try to take make sure that his kids are taken care of, that man ain't going to get no respect no matter what he does.
You know what I mean? First, go take care of your kids, and maybe, just maybe, you'll get a little respect, baby. Come on, just a little bit. Hey, just a little bit. Go earn that shit, bro. Not to mention, I didn't know you for very long, bro. You think I've just been, just been doing songs like this because I hung out with you for six months and tried to help you better your life? Uh, no, I write about me and my friends and what me and my friends do. And you're not a part of that group. Like you send me to do the shit you think you do in your head. Nor should he ever be. Like, bro, fuck you. I'm not your fucking minion. I live my life. I'll fight for me now. Fuck you. And what is it exactly you're doing for yourself? The shit that he would want to play out in his life, he's wanting other people to do he, he and film so it. This whole, this whole time, bro, he wanted to be. He, he wants to have this outlaw image as if he's ever done anything outlaw. Motherfucker, this never. Look, even the cat knows those bullshit, and that's why he walked away. He or she walked away. Watch. You guys didn't notice that shit? Watch. Like, you send me to do the shit you think you do in your head. Like, bro, fuck you. I'm not your fucking minion. I live my life. I'll fight for me now. Fuck you. And what is it exactly you're doing for yourself? The shit that he would want to play out in his life, he's wanting other people to do. Oh, my bad. It was a dog. See, uh, the, yeah, dog's supposed to be man's best friend, so this makes it even worse. The dog's like, man, fuck this shit, man. This, 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 Y'all a bunch of clowns. I'll, I'm going to go and look for a new owner. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully a smart one. He, he wanted to film it. This whole time, bro, he wanted to be, he, he wants to have this outlaw image as if he's ever done anything outlaw. Motherfucker, this, never, this dude never sold anything. He never had to sell nothing. Do you have to be a drug dealer now to be an outlaw? Damn. That okay. sucks. His dad owned a paint company. What? What are you doing? I didn't know, yeah. I didn't know being a drug dealer was, was, was a fucking requirement in being an outlaw. You know what I mean? Bruh. He never had to sell nothing. Do you have to be a drug dealer now to be an outlaw? Damn. That sucks. His dad owned a paint company. What What are you doing besides solidifying that what I say is true, bruh? Exactly. You just confirmed everything that Church has said. Talking about, yeah, I was never a drug dealer. I never sold drugs. You know what I'm saying? You just told everybody exactly what he said. You basically verified everything that this man has said bruh yeah man fuck up church i'm gonna get on youtube and pretty much make a video that explains how his whole life the entire time has been true that'll show him bobby didn't make <laughs> for real <laughs> that's exactly what's happening make him rich bobby didn't do that oh he church, didn't he got rich because it's following bob it's like what, what are you trying to do are you trying to make the man look bad or kiss his ass in hopes that maybe he'll forgive you and, and bring you back into the fold. Church owns half of Redneck Nation, by the way. I support and am sponsored by Redneck Nation, but I don't own half of it. I mean, you can look that, that's, that's public. Oh, Jesus Christ. Does this dude even know how to fucking mail a letter to somebody? Yeah, matter of fact, Bobby's a he, he probably don't even know how to wipe his own ass. Company wasn't even named Redneck Nation. Whenever Bobby met Church, then he changed his name to Redneck Nation and solely made it about Church because Church was that fucking popular. Well, what was it called before that? Because I've only known it as Redneck Nation. Brianna, though, Church was homeless before he ever got started, too. Just like me. Okay, that's not gonna work. You, you and that is not true. I'm pretty sure before he blew up and got famous, he had his own his own place. Already told everyone about the apartment that you came to earlier in the video. Oh yeah, that's right. If he was broke at the time, how was he able to provide shelter for you? Hmm? How was he able to provide opportunity for you? Oh my god. And Brianna, his girlfriend, and her family took church in and got him on his feet. Oh my god, Cracky Tooth. You already told people earlier in the video that she lived with me! Brianna moved in with me, fucking. She's. Bruh. Bruh. I'm at a loss for words. Not the type of woman who's gonna be like, oh, look at this homeless guy. You wanna live with me and my family? <laughs> yeah, no, she's not like that. And got him a phone, and got him a truck to go to work in. Holy fuck, this sounds like a game show. This sounds like, hello, uh, man, homeless man, wanna move in with me and my family? Here's you a brand new phone and a brand new car. I must be like <laughs> redneck Jesus to this motherfucker or some shit. Just fucking, I just think about wanting something that's popped up. And all that, and he said that Bobby done that. He said that Bobby no. done that. No. No. Yes, it was Bobby. Why are you saying it's not? You know it was. Bobby from Redneck Nation taught me about the internet. 
Yes. Dumb fuck. It's literally on the internet. Uh, that's what he does, man. Like that's what that's what I'm saying. Like, yep. When when he back when he was on the, the redneck, you know what I'm saying? He he and even <clears throat> th throughout the years, that you know what I mean. That like the more popular he got, he always acknowledged Bobby and Redneck Nation. He's always acknowledged like, like that. They helped him. They helped him get get his start. When I, the whole time with him, he, I, I, I was there to do music, but he seemed to think that I was there. He bought me a fucking 82 Ford Bronco with a fucking tennis lift on it and 44 inch Mickey Thompson's. I mean, it wasn't nothing special, but I drove that motherfucker to the wheel fell out. Bruh. And he got me a fucking, um, he gave me his high school and he signed hard body. One, one from high school, he had signed and during yeah. the, I sold it. I sold that bitch. I'm giving a fuck. So $2,200. Fuck his truck. <laughs> <sighs> what can I say, guys? You just can't help some people. No. Let this be a lesson. Don't do what I done. I had to learn the hard way. Some of us over the years, we catch on and, you know, our stupid, dumb, fuck, idiot years are over by the time we're about mm, 24, 25, at least for me. Then others like Johnny Gobble and Cracky Tooth get shit. I mean, he's not wrong. Like I said, I, there, there's people in my family I don't talk to anymore. And these are the same people who I've helped out. Whether it was something so simple as like helping them move, move from place to place. You know what I'm saying, or um, just giving them like 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 an ear to talk to. You know what I mean, and or, or a shoulder to cry on, or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying. Same motherfuckers who turn around and freaking bite the hand that 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 helps them. You know what I'm saying. And that's why I don't talk to them no more. I've learned. I had to learn the hard way too. You know what I mean. You just can't help those who are not willing to help themselves. And that's why my circle keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And that's fine. I don't care if it, if it comes down to just a few people in my, in my circle. I am not, I am done having my hand being bit, you know what I'm saying? I am done, you know, picking the, you know, pulling knives out of my back, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, she, she gets real old real quick. Thrown in their lap and really great opportunities and somehow they just fuck them up. And then sometimes they get a second chance and then they fuck that up. And then yep. a third and a fourth and yep. they just keep on fucking shit up. Yup, facts. Same thing with me and my family, like I said. I've had I've had a cousin, right? Me and him had a fallout for like pfft. See, we fell out back in 2011. Then we started talking to each other again back in 2016. 5 years, right? Right? F 5 years we went without speaking with each other. And I and I and I gave dude another chance cuz I honestly thought he he changed cuz he he was cool at first. Come to find out Still the same old a hole, you know what I'm saying? And I cut him, and this time I cut him off. Last time he cut me off. This time I cut him off, and I, I'm still not looking back. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Then they end up getting on the internet when they're high and blaming everyone else for their problems. I mean, dude, look at Johnny Gobble. He's got two kids, man. They're 14. They're in high school. They're in ninth grade. And everybody at school's probably watching their dad get on here and look at him, bro. Like, look at him. And let me tell you something. Kids in Paintsville, what up, Skins? By the way, I love Kentucky. If you do go to school with his two daughters, be nice to him, man. It ain't their fault. Then you have Cracky Tooth. Exactly. You you can't fault the uh, children for their for their dumbass daddy. You know what I mean? That's not fair to them. You know what I mean? They, they, they didn't ask to... Because, you know, it's not their fault that that's their father. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they don't... You, you don't get to pick who your parents are. You know what I mean? You don't even get to pick like when you want to be born. You're, once you're born, I tell you, you're born, and then you're, you're God gives you the uh, parents He chooses to to give you. You know what I'm saying, bro? Their dad get on here and look at him, bro. Like look at him. And let me tell you something, kids in Paintsville. What up, skins? By the way, I love Kentucky. If you do go to school with his two daughters, be nice to him, man. It ain't their fault. Exactly. Then you have Cracky Tooth. Look at Cracky Tooth, man. He has nothing going on. He's had everything dropped in his lap. I've orchestrated a viral fucking song for him. Which, truth be told, I wish I was in Cracky Tooth's position when he had all that shit being, being gifted to him. Literally dropped on his lap. I don't want to be him now. Fuck that. But, I mean, shit. What I'm saying is, I wish I had all those opportunities, man. Because best believe, shit. I would have made the most out of that. But, it's alright. When, once I finally hit my finish line, you know what? It's going to make me appreciate it so much more. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. It has 40 million fucking views. He's done not shit with it. Every woman mm -hmm. he's had sex with and got pregnant, he's left them 
high and dry to fend for theirself. And that is not a man. You know what I'm saying? If anything, that's a fucking that's a fucking dirt bag. That's a scumbag. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. That's fucked up. It is fucked up. Mm-mm. If you get a woman pregnant, I don't give a fuck what the circumstances are. I don't give a fuck if it's a one night stand, if you was cheating, whatever the fuck the case may be. If you get that woman pregnant, your ass better take care of that baby, bro. You know why? Facts. Facts. You, you, you were man enough to impregnate this woman. That means you are man enough to take care of those kids that she pops out. And if you and if you didn't want to have no kids, well then guess what? Put a glove on. Either wrap the dick up or take your dick and go home. Ah, because that's not the real man thing to do, fucking. We just gonna leave this baby to have nobody to protect it, look up to it in this fucked up world we're in? No. Now, if you don't get along with this woman and y'all are arguing, but you're still like, hey, I'll still pay for whatever since you won't let me see my kid or whatever, then some other guy comes in the picture and she's like, well, I don't want him to raise the kids and you sign your rights over. That's fucking different. Yeah. But when you're just like dipping the fuck out, like, I don't know nothing. That alone shows how fucking pathetic and stupid and useless both of you fucking idiots are. Mm Mm-hmm. That's why it doesn't bother me. Yep. Look at you. You both talk like robots. You both ain't doing shit. And mm-hmm. by the way, Baby Cakes, I know you're watching this. You're the one who dates Cracky Tooth. And you've been following me for a minute. And you know I wouldn't stray you wrong. If you were smart, you would kick that goofy fucking low life out of your motherfucking place, because that's your place, and you would find somebody better. Mm-hmm. Because you deserve better. Yep. He has nothing going for him. He don't want nothing going for him. It's like I always said, man. I said this in, in, in the last, I believe it was like in the last video, if not the one before. You know what I mean? Women, real women, right, who are who are all right up here. You know what I mean? The ones who are who are right in the head. They love a dude that works. Because that's the kind of dude they feel secure with. You know what I mean? Bruh, real women that are right up here again, they love that security. They love, you know, someone who is stable, who had that stability. Bruh. That's not a good life for you, girl. Mm Mm-mm. And that's just real talk from Bubba Up Church. Mm Mm-hmm. Peace. All right, y'all. This shit is just getting sad, man. I mean, again, you had dumb and dumber. Nah, you know what? Fuck that. You got dumb shit and dumb ass fucking uh, making themselves look bad and trying to make this guy look bad. And, bruh. Bruh, shit is just sad, man. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link for this video. So y'all can watch this, uh, watch and listen to this uninterrupted as you would like. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, we still got one more video to hit up that church uh, just de- just dropped. So we're definitely gonna hit that one next. I'm just gonna say, man, this 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 some crazy shit. <laughs> and and bruh, I can't wait to see what happens in the next video. So. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll catch y'all on the next one, all right? Don't forget to check out all the links down below and make sure you guys are sh- uh, supporting the fan band and the folks that I rock with as well, all right? Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.